Mark 1.38. But he said to them, let us go to the next towns that I may preach there also, because for this purpose I have come forth. Luke 4.43. But he said to them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, because for this purpose I have been sent. What about this one? John 12. He's wrestling. He doesn't want to go to the cross. Do you like that? Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. God, I I want to avoid it. I don't want to do this. Please. But for this purpose, I came to this hour. Are you catching this? If you don't know and you protect your priorities, you will live someone else's. Or are you already? Freedom is I tell me what to do and I do it. I stole that off Danny Silk. We think we're free, but actually we're just doing everything else somebody else tells us. We've got this external form of governance. Freedom is I, I tell me what to do. I choose to do this. Well, I'm not going to clean up. Well, it's not about not doing stuff. It's about what will you do. I choose to do this. I tell me what to do. I'm going to choose what my eyes look at. I'm going to choose what happens in my marriage. I'm going to choose what happens in these places. And I'm going to follow through because the greatest measure of freedom is I govern me. Because on my best day, I, I can do that just and not having to worry about you. So what are your priorities? Why did you get out of bed this morning? Because you had to show up on Sunday morning because if you don't, the person sitting beside you will think you're backslidden and we would have been praying for you instead of somebody else who needed prayer. In the school of ministry, we say, why did you come to school today? Well, because I had to swipe in. Really? That was your motivation? You had to swipe in? Because I get paid to come. No, you don't. What really motivates you? Why are you doing what you're doing? Oh, please don't ask. That's way too. Yes, because I call you to freedom, which is you choose what you're going to do with your time. Because you have the measure of freedom for that which you'll be responsible for. So just ask yourself, if you don't have freedom, have you been responsible with what you've already had? So you take it to the other end. So someone with no choice, very little response. They're usually locked up 24 hours a day, and we call it in prison because they haven't been responsible with freedom, so they lose freedom. So if you want more freedom, be responsible with the freedom that you have, which means what am I going to do with me? What am I going to do with my time? What are your key roles in life? Husband, father, father entrepreneur, teacher, what is that going to look like for you? If I said, if we looked at your last week, what would that tell me your priorities are? 